What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time stopping by, don't forget to smash that subscribe button as well as a thumbs up. It really does help out the channel. And be sure to check out my description box. I have all my playlists down below. In today's episode, guys, it is that time yet again. We have another mail call. Now, actually, this one isn't a mail call. Rich and I met up. We did another trade. So I don't know exactly everything that's in the box. I cannot wait to open it because this thing has been sitting here for quite a while. I was just trying to get everything in the collection organized, the track set up, had a couple mail calls. So we are finally getting to his package. And then of course we got one right here from Hot Rod Josh. Um, I actually bought these off of him for a pretty good deal and I cannot wait to showcase these. And I think he sent in a racer, I'm not sure. Let's jump straight into the package or box that uh, Rich and I, traded for right off the bat guys we have a 2000 first edition card error actually check that out it is not the lotus elise 340r this is the 41 wheelies drag car now this actually has the folding wheelie bar you can see it right there it's just folded up right between the wheels it actually folds out and then it snaps onto that little chrome piece but i do have this one but it's funny that it is on the Lotus Elise 340R first edition card. But man, the one thing I did like about this casting was the color. It is a beautiful pearlescent orange. You got the chrome motor sticking out the front. Yeah, this thing is super cool. But it's interesting that it is on a first edition card. Well, actually, it's the wrong card. So that is pretty cool. Next one, we have the Avis Quattro, which is collector number 453. This is a beautiful red. You got the seven spoke variation to this one. This one makes number three or four of the variations of the Avis Quattro in the collection. But check that out, man. That is super clean. I actually like this one better than the silver. The silver metallic, which was, I believe, their first edition. I definitely dig the red. Right, next up, we have the Audi Avis in purple. Check that out. Got the Avis deco right there on the side with a carbon looking deco. Got the red and black kind of mixed in there, but chrome PR5s, beautiful purple metallic, tan interior and the purple stripe right there on the top of that canopy. Yeah, that is nice. So it's collector number 104 out of 2001. And then followed up by a third variation right here and check out that splatter, man. That is cool. Now I know I have a split image in this same paint scheme and check that out. Nice red metallic base. That color setup just looks really cool. It's almost like a dark, dark maroon with the red splatter coming through. You could almost say it's black with the red splatter, but it's kind of hard to tell, but it's out of the Tectone series. Another Avis Quattro, collector number 748. I love that red with the gold lace wheels. That is actually super clean. I take it back. This one's probably my favorite one, aside from the red. Let's see, next up, oh, here we go. Cadillac 1 in pearl white this time. Nice, we just got the one in black, and it's actually hanging up right here. So there's the black Cadillac one version, and now there's a pearl white one. I didn't know they had a recolor of it. There you go, white base, white body. Of course, you have the subtle grill and headlight details. And then on the back, very basic. But the casting itself doesn't look so good in white. I gotta say it looks cheap, and I think it's the white bumpers that kind of throw it off. But either way, man, another cool variation to the Cadillac one. All right, next up out of <clears throat> next up out of Rebel Rides, we have the Scorchin' Scooter. Check that out. Got a nice satin black with the color fade tampos and flame. That's pretty sweet. You got the Hot Wheels logo right there with the three spoke design. Very, very cool variation. I do have a pretty good collection of motorcycles and this is just another one. So number 79 out of 2005's rebel ride nice next up we got the zinder fact 4 we just got one of these in our mail call 
but another one is always good, especially because I just love the Zender Fact 4s. But this one's Collector 228 on the faded blue card. You got the chrome five spokes, tan interior. Nice. Next up, looks like we have a Honda series. Oh, dude. Look at that Civic, man. Got the nice orange metallic, black PR5s, gold ring. And of course, no tampos front or rear, but you have the black top with the stripe running through. Dude, that is sweet, man. Freaking sweet. Next up, oh, there we go. We have the Ferrari 355 Spider in this nice blue metallic chrome five spokes. And then you have the black interior to this one. It's collector 164 out of 2002. I want to say, do I have this one with a different interior? Let's see, 355. Oh, nope, looks like I just have a duplicate. So there we go. Still out of the Hot Wheels Code series. There we go, Ferrari for the win. All right, next up, uh-oh, we have the Red Edition 2005 Corvette. And yeah, dude, check that out, man. It's the tuned version of the C6. Dude, that is sweet. Got the chrome interior, red enamel. Of course, you have the really clean racing deco in white and black. You got the huge chrome PR5s all the way around and the massive quad exhaust sticking out in chrome. That is awesome, man. Check that out. Dude, that is sweet. Target Red Edition tuned C6. Nice. Ooh, here we go. Next up, we got two Toyota 2000 GTs. You got one in yellow with the blue and black stripe running down the sides as well as the hood. And then the gray MC5s all the way around in the square fitment. Nice, that one's out of the Hot Wheels workshop and then followed up by this beautiful one. Check that out. Got a really nice black metallic, super heavy in the flake, white and red stripes running in the same pattern as the yellow, but you have the black MC5s with the gold ring. Dude, that is sweet, man. Nice. Here we go, Tampo Shift. Oh yeah, that is, that is, that is way off in the Tampos. Check that out, you have a huge molding issue right there on the fender. Man, that thing is like smashing up on the wheel. But there you go, the Nissan Fairlady Z tampo error as well as a molding error. Dang. All right, next up, here we go, 59 Chevy Wagon. Nice, now I actually have three of these. One is loose now, and it's actually the red one right here. So here's the red one. You got the brown boat on top, or canoe, whatever you wanna call it. And then you have the blue one. I actually dig the blue one as well. So the boat actually comes off the roof. It just leaves some holes up top. But man, these wagons are wicked, man. Oh man, this thing is stacked. All right, here's the car I traded for. Here's the one. The rest, my man, threw in the trade. But here you go, you got the Chase Lamborghini Ascenza, dude. Oh man, that is sick. That is such a beautiful one right there. Gosh, that is nice. Completely blacked out look. Of course, the black 10 spokes, the red 63. Oh man, that is nice. And out of the Exotic Envy, definitely a great one. So I have the Bugatti and I do have the regular green Lamborghini. The other ones I've left behind because I wasn't too impressed with them in person. But the Chase car, man, that is beautiful. Very, very hard to get around here, man. Let's see, next up, ooh, here we go. Definitely do not have this one. The Toyota AE86 Corolla in silver metallic. Beautiful, man. Love how you got the TRD stripes right there on the side and hood, black MC5s all the way around. Then you have a nice red interior. Man, that is sweet. So I think this is a older tooling because it does have just one single post and then the plastic tab holding it onto the body. So that is no longer the way that tooling is casted, I don't think. I don't know, you guys let me know down below, but out of Hot Wheels Workshop. Dude, that is nice. Next up, we have the Zamac CRX, the 85. Now this one's number eight out of 2021's release. 
Now I do have this one, but it's good to have more, but I'll keep this one carded just in case. All right, next up, oh man, this one I do not have, and it is the Honda S2000. Definitely an underrated Honda in that whole movie. Of course, the three Civics were super clean, but the Honda S2000, man, this thing is beautiful. Black enamel, of course, you got the flying ninja stars on the side with the chrome 10 spokes. And this one I did not have and never was able to find when that series came out. All right, next up we have the Zamac. This is number 15 from the Rod Squad. Do not have this one either, so my man hooking it up with the Zamax, man, the 68 El Camino. Of course, you have that really cool pinstripe work with the Hot Wheels Speed Shop. Black MC5s with the staggered large in the rear, small up front. Nice. So let's go ahead and put the Zamax together. So we'll have the CRX and the El Camino. We'll keep these right here. See, next up, the Latroca. Here we go, black version of it. Definitely a beautiful truck. You got the black and gold setup, which I'm a huge fan of. Definitely freaking love this truck, man. God, that is like the epitome of a lowrider truck right there. Such a beautiful casting. All right, let's see, next up. Oh, we got the red version. Nice, look at that. The window visor on the windscreen actually has the gold tampos. Dude, that is sick. Beautiful maroon metallic with the gold base, gold lace wheels. Oh yeah, oh, and it's a 2001 first edition. Nice, collector number 15 out of 2001. Another awesome variation. Nice. Here we go, guys. Look at that. Hatsuki's Honda S2000 in pink. Now, I do have this one. It's no longer on card. It was actually in a trade, and it came loose. There we go. Out of Too Fast, Too Furious. Dude, sweet. That thing is so clean. All right, let's see. Next up, the USS Enterprise NCC1701. Of course, this is a Star Trek piece. We do have the older version in that dark gray or gunmetal color. So this is another variation to the Star Trek Enterprise series. Actually, I think the other one wasn't the Enterprise. I can't remember what it was. If I could figure it out, I'll post it on the screen for you guys, but really, really cool casting, especially if you grew up watching this. It's definitely an awesome piece right there. All right, let's see. Next up, we got the Hot Wheels 450F dirt bike. This one is a really cool color variation in white. Of course, you have the Hot Wheels flame looking really good along the side. You got the white spokes up front and blue chrome in the rear. It's out of the Hot Wheels Daredevil series. Factory sealed one too. Nice. All right, next two, we got some Datsun 620s. We have a really nice satin black. I don't have that one. At least I don't think. Um, Nope, I got it. It's right there. So we got two more of these trucks right here, but really, really do like that maroon one or that satin red, but the satin black one's probably the best out of these two right here. All right, next up, we have a Chevy Caprice classic police car right here, but this is a huge error. Check that out, man. That wheel is sticking out. It looks like it's got hydraulics and rock in the three wheel motion. Check that out. <laughs> that is funny. That is too funny, but there we go. Another error for the collection. Next up, we have the Corvette. It's the 68 Corvette out of Gas Monkey Garage. Of course, it's the Hot Wheels Screen Time series. Beautiful tampos for the taillight. You got the license plate. Very, very nice gold metallic with the heavy flake in it. So there we go. I definitely do not have the mainline version of this one. So another awesome Corvette for the collection. And then next up, we have the 43. Check that out, John Andretti. It's the premium Grand Prix. Dude, nice. These Hot Wheels racing castings, man. These things are freaking awesome. And this one just has the really good details. Of course, you got the Goodyear Real Riders on there and everything else to make this casting just awesome. So. John Andretti. All right, let's see. We got some playing cards. Looks like we got some Dale Sr. and a Dale Earnhardt Jr. ones. Nice. So we'll open these up and put them in my book that I have of all of my collector cards. 
Let's see, next up, oh dude, check that out. Freaking awesome, man. Dan Weldon Lionheart Formula. It's the DW1. Dude, that is awesome, dude. Never even seen this before. It's a 2012 new model, but look at that, man. We got the real riders. Beautiful maroon with the British flag on the side. Oh man, that is sick, dude. Freaking awesome. In memory of two-time racer and Hot Wheels. Hold on. Let's open this up so we can read it real quick. Special commemorative edition in memory of two-time Indy 500 winner and Hot Wheels friend Don Wilden. June 22nd, 1978 to October 16, 2011. Forever in our hearts and never forgotten. Hot Wheels proudly supports the Don Weldon Family Trust and has made a donation in Dan Weldon's memory. Dude, that is sweet, man. Definitely appreciate this one, man. That is awesome. That is freaking awesome. Wow. Never seen this casting. Not even when people post their collections. I've never seen anyone post about that one. So, dude, thank you so much for that, man. Oh, dude, look at that. Rusty freaking Wallace. And here we go. Wicked number two, man. The 1989 NASCAR Cup champion. Dude, that is sweet, man. Love the short card on this one. There you go, man. Super cool. Rusty's last call in the Dodge Intrepid. Wow, dude, that is awesome. The NASCAR collection continues to grow, and I love it, man. Freaking love it. All right, oh, here we go. We got a letter. MHD, what's up? That reminds me of the scary movie. Are you all alone? What's up? What's up? What the? He says, buddy, hope you like the box, and thanks again. Hope the diecast community has a wonderful holiday season. Thanks, Rich, my dude. Thank you so much for this trade, man, especially the extras you threw in there, man. Freaking awesome. All right, let's see. Next one. Now, I know he said he threw in the protectors. He said he knew I needed them. So, like, the Honda S2000 is not going to stay in the protector. This one right here, which is a beautiful Porsche Boxster Spider. I do not have one of these. This one won't stay in the protector, but they will go for the Supers and the Chrome Series that I removed to help put those back in there. So definitely, definitely helps out. But check this out, man. Beautiful Porsche Boxster, man. There we go. That is awesome. You got the Chrome J5s, white enamel, of course, black Porsche stripe. And then you have the nice headlight tampos. Nothing on the rear, but 2012's model. Freaking beautiful. So plastic case goes up there all right let's see oh nice here we go we got the bone shaker version of the skateboard now you do have the flame back there but it isn't the treasure hunt in case you guys were wondering the treasure hunt has that really cool logo on it um it doesn't have the picture but very freaking cool classic style right there the bone skater <laughs> nice and right, we got some loose castings we got a bunch of loose castings actually we got a mystery model. This one's Series 3. And this one is number 3. Uh-oh. I don't think we have this one yet, so let's open this one up. Oh, there we go. The Volkswagen Beetle. Nice. I seen my buddy post this, man. Check that out. You have the really cool German stripes on the side, but also the track layout right there. That is sweet, man. You got the, the yellow MC5s matching the yellow interior. And of course, the number 24 on the side and hood. Nice, dude. That is freaking beautiful. That is actually super clean, man. The color setup and livery choice was spot on. Oh, man. Check this out. I keep seeing this one, man. And let's just go ahead and flip it over. Looks like the twin mill. Nice, dude. Check that out. Holy crap. Look at this. It's the 1969 commemorative replica. Dude, that is freaking awesome. But check that out, man. The Spectra Flame is completely degrading, which is very odd since it's been in this package. But Spectra Flame back in the day did not really last that long. So you had to really, really take care of it. 
And of course you have the certificate of authenticity. Check that out, the little 30 year badge right there and the button. Dude, that is a super cool package. Just in general, this thing is super cool. Now, this is a 1998 release right there. Dude, that is awesome. All right, next up we have the 2007 new model, which is the Grand National. Look at that, man. This was back when the hood actually opened. Nice, let's go ahead and give it a closer look. Ooh, there we go. Got the Chrome OH5's Chrome interior opening hood. Oh yeah, that is awesome, dude. Definitely don't have an opening hood version of the Black Grand National, but we do now. Freaking awesome, man. We got some more loose castings, a bunch of loose castings. Ooh, and here we go, we got the bazooka. Yes! Nice, man. The 88 Mustang Fox body with the bazooka livery. Dude, that is clean. Definitely needed this one. And yeah, here we go, guys. Loving the livery on this one. The pink stripes, red interior. It just really goes well with the bubblegum theme. Freaking sweet, dude. Nice. Oh, that's awesome. All right, let's see. Next one. Oh, we got a larger casting right here. Look at that. Dude, that is sick, man. Oh, the number three good wrench of Dale Sr.'s Bass Pro Shop. The collection just continues to grow. And now we got three variations to the Bass Pro. Got the super gold flake right here. Got the light gold metallic. Of course, you can see the two variations of windshields and just castings in general. Now we got this one and the Tahoe or the Suburban to go with the collection. Freaking awesome, man. All right, let's see. Next up. All right. Well, uh, that just opened up, but here we go. Looks like we have some matchbox castings. All right, first one. It looks like the Austin Healey. Yep, there you go. 63 Austin Healey. Beautiful setup though. Dude, that is nice. That is freaking nice. Look at that color, man. Got the light green metallic with the white panel. Details in the front look spot on. And these wheels look really good on this casting. Man, that is nice. And next up you have the maroon version of the Aston Martin. Check that out. That is nice. I do have a few color variations to this one. Definitely do like these older gen cars like this. It's just the body lines are very, very exotic and just gorgeous. So there we go. We got the maroon metallic. We have this beautiful dark blue metallic of the Jaguar XK140, the 1956. And check that out. If you guys are collecting, you got to really appreciate the vintage castings like this. Now, this one isn't vintage as in release, but as far as the car it's based off of, they're just beautiful and elegant, man. And then next up, check out this beautiful freaking Thunderbird. Dude, that is nice. Let's see, what year is this? The 1957 Thunderbird, beautiful pearl orange. Definitely loving this one, man. That is a nice Thunderbird. Headlights are done very, very well. Look at that, tail lights. Even have the chrome bezels. Dude, that is nice. These are cars like, if I saw it on pegs, I probably wouldn't buy it. But when you actually get them in your hands and appreciate how well they're built, it just changes it, man. So thank you so much for that. Let's see, we got a few bags over here. So let's go ahead and pull some out, make some more room. A lot of loose castings. All right, let's see. First one, I see some red line wheels on here. Oh, what is this? Oh, that is sick, dude. Look at that color, man. That is a beautiful pink. Really nice pink metallic. You got the red line wheels on here, and this is the MIG rig. Nice. Look at that, dude. You got some tools in the back, and of course the motor, but the really cool deco on that. It's kind of ghosted, but this is a very, very nice casting. I am definitely digging that. All right, next one up. Oh, there we go. Beautiful, dude. Nice. Got the T1 panel van. 
Love the lime green metallic and of course you got the Star Trek deco on this thing but the wheels man look at those chrome five slots with the white walls I love these man especially the stance of the panels look at that man that is low and clean next one this one's pretty heavy as well oh we have another one check that out is that wasp I think that is the wasp dude that is sick nice light blue metallic you got the white roof pink tinted glass and check out those wheels man very very clean red line wheels sweet oh dude don't let me go down that rabbit hole of freaking vans it only takes just one for you to fall in love with it let's right, see next up oh here we go we got an old school casting check that out what is this this almost looks like a uh, capri or ford escort i don't know i will leave that to you guys to comment down below what this car is of course you got the hot ones in gold red interior i don't know man this is a really cool casting found a while ago in a trade in figured you can use for a custom uh oh oh there we go we have the sn95 body style it's the 96 mustang in purple now this is actually from this set right here the four decades of pony power and i didn't realize it was a glass top yeah so it looks like they just painted the top on there it's not fully casted that is interesting very interesting full glass top check that out that's going to be part of the custom next up we have the porsche 911 this one's in yellow and this is the staggered fitment where it's got the large chrome five spokes in the back smaller up front so there we go you got the hot wheels flame in blue on the side never seen that i don't think it's supposed to be there but it is i thought it was supposed to be on the rear wing or window Dude, that's pretty cool, man. All right, next up, we have the Ford GTX. There we go. Beautiful pearlescent orange. You got the bluish gray stripes running down the center. Huge OH5s in the rear and smaller up front. But there we go, man. I actually do have this color set up, but still such a wicked cool casting. All right, let's see. Next up, it looks like another van. Yep, there we go. Dude, check that out, man that is sick that is so cool man i don't know what this is from oh masters of the universe there we go beautiful blue metallic and of course the blue top with the deco on the side man gosh that is awesome definitely digging these man thank you for sending those those are wicked all right next up here we go we actually have this one um, this one is the Boulevard Bruiser. There we go. I couldn't remember what it was called. A very nice black metallic Hot Wheels race team deco, of course. And you do have the black MC5 staggered with the red chrome ring. Very cool casting, and I definitely do like this one. You can see a little bit of aspects of like the 73 Dodge Charger right here behind the driver door. The silhouette is very big body. It's kind of a mixture of all kinds of muscle, but very cool second one for the collection next up we do have this one as well and we actually have one lined up on the track and it's going to be driven by ryan it's actually in silver and blue so we have another color variation right here i do actually have one of these already i want to say rich sent it last time but it's the prototype h24 in this really cool heritage golf livery it's very similar to it so definitely dig that man next up we have the purple mustang concept the 62 two-seater now this is a multi-pack exclusive in this purple metallic really cool to have another one because i only have my loose one which is right up here so that makes number two i might actually put some rubber wheels on this one we have the formula 500 let's see this one i believe that's what it's called but this one's got the flames on it. You have the IZOD 
and definitely dig these man check that out almost looks like a tampo error it's got the hot wheels flame and some type of splatter on the top same thing with the front diffuser very cool man don't know what series this is out of but i'll leave that up to you guys okay, next up we got some mustang convertibles here we go we have another 96 convertible i want to say this is a mcdonald's car the blue enamel with the chrome lace wheels got the silver headlights i think it is but here we go we have another one i actually do have one in a little bit worse condition than this one we have followed up is the lime green 63 concept check that out man now this one's actually out of the five pack it's the 50 year five pack which you can see right there such an awesome series you got the 45th anniversary one as well so this was just another beautiful color that lime green metallic with the green tampos very very nice just need some tail light details this thing will be gold and followed up we have another color shifter of the 2005 this is the second loose one i've received so here we go just another one for the collection i might clean this up a little bit maybe i can add some details to it but another color shifter followed up by the shelby there we go 69 i believe it is yep 69 gt500 convertible ruby red metallic with the gold stripe running down the side definitely a beautiful casting i can't remember if this is a five pack car as well uh it's not out of the shelby series and it's not out of that one i think it's a standalone which would be right there yep 2011's new model so there's the carded one here's the loose one sweet second to last bag here we go we got the silver ferrari look at that beautiful casting it's the 512 berlinetta definitely an awesome one right there man ferraris are definitely kind of hard to come by and when you do hold on to them not for the value but just for the sole fact that they are just getting harder and harder to find of course you have the ferrari bucking horse right there on the side with the berlinetta or pinifarina tampo right there on that lower fender it's very hard to see but they got it on there nice all right next up we have a purple viper check that out dude that color man oh i am digging that i'm telling you the purples are really really growing on me gosh when the flake hits on purple it's just beautiful love the flames on there you got the baby blue and yellow outline and of course you have the dodge right there on the rear large pr5s blue tinted glass i don't know what series this came out of but another amazing addition i don't have one of those next up it looks like the muscle and toned there we go rich has sent this one before you got the silver metallic with the hot wheels deco nice red tinted glass orange interior definitely love the deco man very freaking cool all right next one is the mercury cougar now this one i've never seen before check that out man love in the blue and orange that looks really good you got the number 36 gray five spokes man rich has sent some beautiful cougars in the past and i gotta say this is one of my favorites i just love the blue on this that is very nice last bag we got some micros check this out you got an indie car thing is super tiny look at that man that is small racing motorsports now this one is crap that is tiny font i can't even read what that says but digging that stuff man and then followed up here we go we have the jaguar xj nice so this one is a 1997 mattel look at that dude freaking cool you got the tan top which is rolled down for the convertible very cool so i do have a couple which are mustangs and they are right here so you have the 65 fastback and then you have the sn95 and that really cool spectra flame purple all right guys here we go this was the trade between rich and i that was the only one i was tracking of being in the trade 
everything else was bonus man thank you so much we have some amazing additions and of course I gotta learn some more about this one right here. This is a super cool piece. So let's go ahead and jump into the package and purchase that I got from Hot Rod Josh. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. First one out. Ooh, this is his racer. My man threw in a 71 funny car. Man, that bag is like, look at that. That thing jumped out of the bag. But here we go, 71 funny car. My man chose correct with the Mustang. Oh, look at that, man. I cannot wait to race this one. That's gonna be a beauty. So we will put him in the lineup right there with everybody else. What's this? Open me. All right, we'll save that last. All right, first one. Now, when he sent me these pictures, man, I just had to have them for the collection. And of course, really good deal on these. But check this out, man. Oh, that is gorgeous look at that color oh my gosh dude that burnt orange metallic holy crap that is nice got the tan interior five spokes in chrome got the mustang gt on the back dude that is a sick freaking color now this one is special and i'll show you why in a second so there's that one i can already hear the hood all right guys you ready this piece right here was definitely needed. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Look at the condition of that, man. You got the white 65 convertible. Look at the engine bay, very nice. Windscreen is cherry. And you got the gold lace wheels with the red interior. Now, like I said, guys, this was one I absolutely wanted for the collection. I have, a, I have a few variations. We have the Fisher Price version. We have the license plate version, the parking plates, which Diecast Clown hooked me up with. And let's see, and I think that's the only one for the white 65s that I have. Now this one right here, guys, this and that one are two very special cars right here because they come together in a two pack, which was the Avon exclusive father and son two pack right here so these two cars came together and absolutely wanted them really bad especially this one and my man reached out and of course i threw him the cash he mailed it over and check it out guys in mint condition oh my gosh that is nice but this color man this is definitely much different than the ones you would see right here so those are the darker maroon versions of it. You have the five dots and then you have the five spoke. And yeah, so just in case anyone thought that that was the same one, this is a different color, scene, color setup. So there we go. Beautiful, man. All right, and then last one is another beauty we had to have for the collection. Here it is. Oh my gosh, these are all in just phenomenal shape look at that man you have the blue metallic with the opening body there we go man awesome but you can see on the rear it is the firebird because this was before the pontiac firebird funny car and then they put the chevy bow tie on there and the other one is right here as the side splitter so you can have it there i don't know if these are variations or not that is super nice but dude look at the condition of those man all of them are just cherry oh nice my dude look at that that is so cool got the 93 winston cup champion dale senior with the intent with the black number three with the black monte carlo nice so it looks like he threw two of them in there freaking cool man so there we go even from rich we got some nascar cards to throw in to my binder. So we'll go ahead and look at these as well. All right, so we got the 96 Olympic, that's awesome. Ooh, Jeff Gordon, that's pretty sweet. 87, God, that was my birth year. We got Dale Jr. right there. Freaking awesome, dude. So a huge, huge thanks to Hot Rod Josh, man. This was a solid purchase. 
and I, I'm stoked to have these for the collection. So thank you so much for that. And of course, Rich, again, thank you for the trade and the extras. My man goes over the top when he puts a box together for a trade, man. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up and of course, comment down below your thoughts on what we got in these packages and your thoughts of the two Avon exclusive father and son Mustangs, which I am so glad to have the two together. Like I said, hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I do. And of course, stay tuned because we have another mail call after this one. So until next time, this is the Mustang Hunter. Peace.